Hey, good morning everyone. It's Ryan from Resell CMY. We got a few eBay orders going out the door today, 10 to be exact, for $577.29. There's a couple big ticket items in there, what we like to call dingers. Uh, a couple good sales in there we want to show you. Um, for those of you who have been watching our videos before, we had a deal called the Meth Buy. Um, we'll explain it again if we go out there today, or we're supposed to go out there today and buy more. So if we do, we'll explain that buy a little bit more, why it's called the meth buy. So we're here to ship orders first thing in the morning so we can go do that. Also, I have a board over here that I was gonna cover uh, YouTube monetization. It's kind of acting weird on the YouTube studio, so I'm gonna put that off for a day or two until I can kind of understand the rhythm of how I'm gonna be able to show you guys that. But I do wanna keep that keep you in the loop on how that's going. We just started that a couple days ago. But yeah, we're gonna pull some orders here. Then we're gonna go do, hopefully do a, a nice buy out at the, the meth buy. And then uh, maybe I'll show you some of that at the back end of this video. There's Paul, by the way. How's it going? And you got another buy lined up for this evening. Yeah, I got a big one going out this evening too. I'll explain that here in a little bit. All right, the first thing, Paul, is in 3B. Three bizzle. Right behind me. I think it's just this little car here. Yeah, I put one in each drawer, so it's gotta be that one. Yep. Nissan Skyline R30. Great. Yep, $10 free shipping. These obviously ship super light, so make like four bucks, five bucks on this one. And next here is from the arcade buy. J9. Oh, these actually fit in the J drawers, huh? Yeah. I thought maybe they'd be I a little too a thick. Stuff in them. Oh yeah, they fit in there good. There he is. This is Chief Hopper, six inch action figure, McFarland Toys, 2000, I forgot, 17 probably. Yep, 2017. Uh, 30 bucks plus shipping. Nice. Not a bad little uh, action figure there. This next one I've had listed for a long, long time. I know, that's crazy. D3, it's actually here, right here. There it is. There it is, yeah. Big old uh, Rapala. Floater. Seven inch silver shiner. It's a floating Rapala 18S. Do you even remember where this came from? I have no idea. I bought it. I bought that one time on eBay a long time ago. Oh, really? To fish with. And it was too big. Yeah, for anything so then, around here. Yeah, anything around here. So I just had it in my tackle box and I literally just put it up. Okay. A year, two years ago. 12 free shipping? Yep. That's a good deal too because Rapala's, even the smaller ones are yeah, freaking $15 now. 109. More ornaments. More ornaments. With this one right here. I just sold one of these the other day. Two. Yeah, it's the last one. And it's, it might be to the same buyer because this is a repeat buyer, too. This is uh, Snow White and the Seven, Seven Dwarfs there. Happily Ever After is the name of the ornament. This sold for $9.49 free shipping. So another one we'll make like four bucks on. This is the good one. Dan's B. Right here, I got two of them. Yeah, we do have a quantity. And they were both like identical, They're so you did new. list yeah. a quantity, right? They're identical, brand new. This is Napoleon Bonaparte. I'll pull this out, you guys can see him in there. Yadro statue. Nice figure right there. $220 plus shipping. Know that name. I'm That's sorry. a good one. We've sold a lot of statues. Um, a lot of these big boxes up there. You can see that blue and white one right up there. I think those are listed for hundreds and hundreds. Um, and we have quantity of them. There's smaller ones here. Uh, the ornaments and stuff, maybe not as good, like the bells and stuff, but some of the ornaments, like the nativity ones, really good. List today. That looks like it'd be a good one yeah, too. Yeah, that one was with these two. I just didn't get to list it. Yeah, and then these are the like the other ornament. Is that a nativity That's, one? Yeah, it's nativity. Yep, so that would be pretty good. That's actually taped closed right there. Yeah, know that name. We've sold a bunch of it here before. All right, here's an awesome sale right here. I mean, that was an awesome sale, the last one, but this one is too. This actually came from a garage sale. Got it. There's a bare-assed baby. <laughs> what do we call it? Uh, octagonal convex bubble glass, right? Yep, bubble glass. That's what sells those old ones. And uh, 20 bucks? 17 20 bucks? bucks? 20. Something like that, right? He wanted 25, I think, and he's like, I can't take less than 20. Yeah, $20 at a garage sale. We did a YouTube short, I think, or maybe it was part of our video where we said that uh, this would be $100 all day. Actually sold for $120 plus shipping. So that was an awesome one. Back-to-back -back awesome sales right there. Next is in J9. 
You see that next one too is uh actually came from the Kathy, Kathy buy. It's not even skewed. Airtight? Yep. Airtight, 3.75 inch, 1985 G.I. Joe action figure with his weapon and file card. $17, free shipping. Yep. Not too bad there. Make like 12 or so on that one. And then this is a vinyl. That's sold too. Oh yeah, that's that's gonna be next. Wanna yeah. do that one right now? Oh we can, yeah. I was just sitting right there, that's why I saw it. Yep, this one just sold guillotine. This is brand new sealed. Um, I don't even know what style. It says Jazz shipping. Rock. 24 free shipping. So this is a nice one. Go medium mail, of course. So make like 20 before taxes and fees. There it is. There it is. That's the Aerobics day. Country. Brand new sealed. This came from a buy almost two years ago now. It's hard to believe. I know. It's been two years. Um, we went to this buy specifically for this album. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is just uh, part of part of the big big lot of stuff. Uh, that was a really good I one. must have seen that it sold at one point. I listed it. It sold for ten dollars, free shipping. That was a really good buy. Now that I think about that, Kathy six twenty and the thousand dollar dollars. We made a lot. Yeah. If you guys want to go back, go all the way back to some of our first videos. There's a huge Marie Osmond doll buy. Which just seemed overwhelming. Yeah. Once we got it back to my house, I had a whole spare room filled to the ceiling. We got With, it all. Yeah. There's gone. there's like four or five <laughs> left. One right there, I can see. Yeah. So huge Marie Osmond doll buy. Then we went back down there, and um, bought like a the rest of the estate. Hundreds of Boyd's Bear plush doll or plush. Uh, bears and other animals. Some of those are huge. We bought those for like 50 bucks and oh. they sold for like a I couple thousand or yeah, something. Hundreds. Some of those little ones were selling for hundreds. Remember? Yeah, that was crazy. Um, that's one thing you want to look at when you do some of these buys, if you're going to these places. Some of them you can get a feel and just say, man, I bet you there's more stuff to buy there than what they just have listed. Because we've done that multiple times and it worked out well. That's uh, the right thing. I don't know. I, this is in the seven, but I don't think it's all forks. Yeah, it's all forks. Yep, all forks. There nice. It is. I should have kept this. My kids, I think, lost all our forks except for like four. <laughs> That's just me going through Dan's stuff and lotting up what was left over. That's all forks of the same brand. Someone bought them. Twenty bucks plus shipping. Nice. We'll take it. And that's it. Okay. So let me explain what's going on today. We're supposed to leave here in probably ten minutes, fifteen minutes. We're going to try to do another meth buy. We've already been out to this place. Uh, we met him at a garage sale, bought a bunch of stuff there. Actually, she just texted me. She said, just let me know when you're about five minutes away. So that's cool, we're still on for today. So we will be going back out there. Um, we met him at a garage sale, bought a ton of stuff there. Um, always ask you know, if there's more stuff. We ended up exchanging numbers. Went back out there another couple weeks later, spent a few hundred more dollars, and uh, that's been the meth buy. Um, we got a lot of toys out of that. Yeah, a lot of vintage toys. A lot of toys, being, video game video stuff, game a stuff. lot of stuff. So uh, hopefully we can go out there and make another big purchase today. Also, I have a huge purchase going on later tonight. At six o'clock tonight, me and my father are going up to Watertown, New York. Um, and spending $1,500 on military gear. And when I say military gear, I mean, what'd they say, like 1,400 pieces? Yeah, when I look at the pictures, it's God, look like Those boxes on, to on pallets that are just full. And the sea bags were like eight different sea bags stuffed full of sea bags. Yeah, so it's gonna be a ton of gear. Uh, it's not the most sought after type of gear, so it's gonna be, a, but there is a lot of rucksacks, a lot of duffel bags, um, a lot of canteens and stuff like that. But for 1500 bucks, it's worth the hour plus drive each way. And we're gonna fill up the shop. It's gonna be a lot of duplicate, a lot of uh, quantity listings and stuff. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about the deal. Paul, you think it's going to be pretty good, right? I think it's going to be really good. Actually, I was talking to Tim this morning when I walked in. Yeah. People, I, I wrote, go and pick up a huge military haul, and I actually sent him the text, Tim. Yeah. And he said, we should get on Poshmark, all of his military stuff. And, he, and then other people were commenting, get on Poshmark, military stuff sells immediately. Really? So I don't know. It might be something we have to look into. Multiple people commented on that. Really? Yeah. Hmm. 
Poshmark for a military store. Yeah, let us know what you guys think. We'll, sh we'll definitely try to show what we buy in, in a video going up. So we have two buys already set up for today. I'm already talking to another person in Watertown for $5,000 for a bunch of Star Wars stuff. We'll see how that goes too. So it's getting pretty chaotic. There's like deals on top of deals. So we need to really start getting listing. Let me stop this part of the video. I'm sure there'll be a clip just after this showing something. Hey everyone, Paul and I are back from the first deal of the day. Uh, dogs are busy playing. The second we come back, they go crazy. Uh, they're fighting over that same fuggler order that they stole from us. And by they, I mean Kabas. Uh, that's the same order they stole from us that sold uh, like two months ago. Kabas took it right off the table. Um, yeah, Paul and I spent $300 again out at the meth buy. Uh, I said I would explain it a little bit earlier. Uh, during a garage sale during the summer, we came across people and they sold us a whole truck full of stuff, video game stuff, everything. They were trying to raise money for a lawyer because they got busted with meth. So that's the, they seem like decent people that obviously made a giant mistake. Since that garage sale, they had us back one other time, and now we're coming back a second time to the house, and today we spent $300. Everything I show you right now is gonna be $300. Um, pretty good stuff. I'll start right over here. We got a couple of these black light posters. The condition could be better. Uh, Kabas, leave her alone. That's Luna barking, Kabas instigating. This is the 1994 Metallica poster there, black light. I mean, it definitely has some condition issues. Um, but still, that's an awesome vintage poster. We got this Led Zeppelin one here. Again, condition issues, you know. But we could still sell these for 30, 40 bucks. Yeah. That one probably a little bit more even. We got this Doors one, which is pretty cool. It's good condition, actually. That one's good? Yeah, they, it's got I mean, some they tack got some marks, tack marks, but... but for the year and then is that the other good one this is it this is a oh yeah reaper. that one's cool green like reaper with an axe there is a pink floyd yeah, one somewhere yeah. this isn't it. This isn't it. There it is. yep right there yeah this one's actually good condition yeah, really that, good condition yeah it's got some stuff but yeah it's i'm stuff, talking the black the main the, part yeah, of it the, the color is really look. good yeah cool posters um, we have a bunch more. There's like Jenny McCarthy and a bunch of like Playboy, 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 Playboy type posters. Not like nude or anything, just like centerfold ones. There's some car ones in here and a couple other random posters. Uh, Want to show them these shirts real quick, Paul? Here's a Almond Brothers. This is 1997. Um, he had some other band T-shirts too that he wanted to hold on to. Uh, some of these ones we're going to show you are extremely beat up, but we grabbed every single one, no questions asked. When you're just making a big pile, like look at the look at the rips in that one. Yeah, what is this? Is this a shirt? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's hard to even tell. Turn it around and look. It's not. Yeah, I'm that's destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this one I don't even think it's a band T-shirt either. No, it's like a skunk. U.S. Buzz government one. contraband. Yeah, that one's a bad shape too. Here's a good one though. That's a Grateful Dead one. It's got some holes in it and stuff too, but honestly, that these type of holes, it doesn't even matter. That'll still sell for really good. Um, these are like vintage -y type stuff. Stop. There's this one. That one's cool. Look at the picture on the front of that one. Playing a violin. Oh yeah. Look at the year is 1988. Yeah. Okay. This is a PlayStation 3 box, but there's a PlayStation 2, like, fat console in there. No idea if it works or anything. Just added that to the pile. Tons of old plush. A lot of it's in, like, really bad condition, but just random ones. You know, we just grabbed them all. I don't even know what some of this stuff is. Will basically be surprises. There was a tote full of thimbles. And there's quite a few in there. I think there's a bag underneath there that has even more. Um... Yeah, I have no idea. Look at that. Right in the top middle, there's that Dooley one. Oh, yeah. I bet you that one's good. Florida, unicorn, all sorts. I bet they're... There might be some silver ones in there, too. Like, don't those look like some of those might be sterling? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's hard to tell, though. We have no idea. Like I said, we were just making a giant pile. Um, there's some other stuff. There's some hubcaps, some Budweiser Steins. This tapestry is pretty cool. 
Uh, it's upside down, yeah. Led Zeppelin tapestry. It smells like cigarettes. <laughs> nice. We'll have to wash some of this stuff. Pretty cool. We have a black label. Did you find this when you were looking it up? Yeah. No, I couldn't find it. Not this exact one, but this. What does it say? Carling Carl black label lager. It's a big advertising sign. It's thick. Very thick. It's like a top of a barrel. Pretty cool though. Um, old old radio. I have no idea what this dude. Honestly, for all I know, this is a fucking million dollars. I have no idea. I don't even know what it is, or it's just a cheap piece of crap. I have no idea. I don't see any. Thanks. It says Crosley Radio Company. There is a model too. How do you spell Crosley? C R O S L E Y. Can you make out that model right in the top middle? There's rust. Does it say 170? 170. 170. Is that what it says? Yeah, 170. I said it down. Someone's asking thirty four ninety nine. Just for parts, so yeah. nothing, nothing major there. No. Uh, again, more plush stuff. This is like pound puppy things. This is like I a, have no clue what's even in this. No, is that an old one. giant oh, poo? Oh, poo! Yeah, it's ear just ripped. Huh? Yeah, a lot of this might be garbage or just donated. Have no idea. Um, right here there was some. He had these chalkware figures like that. There's a couple of them down in here too. I, I have no idea. It's like just some Legos or something. It's got some missiles and stuff too, so. On the same round as that, there is like this weird Erector set. No idea what Erector set that is. <laughs> or, I mean, it looks like there's pieces of other stuff in here too. Like that looks like a G.I. Joe vehicle or something. No, it's an Erector. Oh, yeah. right Here's pretty cool. This is a ton of Disney, Disney or Looney Tunes glasses. We sold this kind of stuff before from a different buy, from a completely different person. Um, these lot up really well if they're in really good condition. That's not even chalkware, is it? These are decanters. Oh yeah, that's even worse. <laughs> this guy's chalkware though, for sure. That's a decanter, some sort. Um, and then in here, I have no idea. This was just glass. Yeah, there's a. Garfield. Garfield, whatever the Base. hell that is. Yeah. And who knows? Who knows what's down in here? Might be garage sale stuff. I have no idea. Bunch of plush here, too. We've sold this feller before. This one kind of looked interesting to me. This wrinkles. I have no idea. Right here is a Snoopy splash and play. And I think that's pretty much it. We're not going to go through, like that bin right there has freaking 50 plus glasses in it. Um, this, I have no idea how many glasses. We had some more stuff set aside. We had a giant tote full of shot glasses, like collector shot glasses. We had like seven, five or six more of the tie-dye vintage shirts. Um, some of the stuff they naturally wanted to hold on to. Um, we're gonna be, there's gonna be some surprises in this and then some junk too. Mm -hmm. But for 300 bucks, what do you think, Paul? I think the posters are gonna make our money back. Yeah. Just the black light posters, honestly. Yeah. The rest I, of the stuff's just gonna be profit. But we are gonna end up throwing a couple of garbage bags away of these plush and stuff. In yeah, the for sure. When you're there, you're just trying to gather everything into a pile and, and try to make your time worth it too, so. We got that too, the big rail works trained by Marks. Oh, there's another whiskey sign that I already hung up over here. I don't think it's going to be anything super spectacular, but it, I don't know. We do not serve minors. Uh, the soft whiskey Calvert Extra. So I have no idea. But uh, yeah, that's the first part of the buy. Tonight at six o'clock, I got to go up to Watertown and spend upwards of $1,500 on military supplies. So we need to get this kind of packed up, get some space saved in here, because either tonight I'm going to come back and drop off a bunch of stuff, or my dad might want to come with the trailer tomorrow morning and drop off a bunch of stuff too. So that's going to be it for this video. I'm just going to have the one day of sales and this haul part here. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thank you guys very much. See you in the next one. See you guys in the next one. Say resell CNY. Resell CNY. Said please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Say thank you.
Thank you. And bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Right. Thank you. Bye.